All right, what is going on guys? Thank you for watching Clean Culture video in the last vlog. It was a really fun time out there seeing all the old faces and new faces. But today's video is going to be a review of the Morimoto Demon Eyes that I actually recently installed on the car. So my good friend Dylan, I'll drop his Instagram down below in the description, actually helped me or he installed the demon eyes and he actually also installed or repainted my headlights as well. So pretty much I just want to show you guys like the features of the kit and it can be done on a uh, both aftermarket and OEM uh, headlight housing. Alright guys, so for the app you're going to be downloading an app called Morimoto XBT right there. So you can get it both on Android or Play Store or uh, whatever phone you have. But pretty much what you're going to do is open it up. I already have the screen open just because I have it connected to my car already. But what you're going to do for the newcomers is you're going to go into that uh, tab. You're going to say pair new. And you're going to go pair controller. And when you do this, you're going to have to physically take your phone and pretty much just touch it with the ballast of the demon eyes, which is this thing right here. So here's a picture of the ballast and how it looks. And pretty much what you're gonna do is, right at the face of the picture that you see, you're gonna grab your phone and just kinda touch it. And what it'll do is it'll just pretty much recognize your phone and then from there you can just pair it and do the hue of colors. Once you have uh, your phone connected to your kit, your demon eye kit, you're gonna face this screen. What this screen is called a picker, meaning you can personally pick whatever hue of color you want. And you have three different categories. You have solid, fade, and stroke. So I personally like to keep mine in fade, which means fade in, fade out kind of color and solid which means it won't flash it just will stay a solid color like at all times and then strobe will make it look like there's a rave in your car so pretty much just to show you an example of what this will look like so you have off right now and then once you turn it on there you guys go so how this works just to set this phone down real quick. But how this works is there is an LED panel and that pretty much sits right below the projector lens. So questions that I will get is, oh, will, will I still have the normal lights, which is the low beams? Of course you will. That's not gonna replace the low beams. Pretty much this will sit underneath on a bracket uh, connected to the projector and it will reflect onto uh, the the projector housing itself that's what's causing this reflection that's why it's coming out towards pretty much like my pants right here so it just it really depends on like the design of your uh, projector housing but this is factory and this was just painted so still able to keep your low beams and uh, pretty much you can actually run your low beams and the LEDs at the same time, not that you would want to anyways, but it wouldn't like hurt or melt the board or anything. Temperature wise, it should be fine. So just to show you guys like different colors and hues. So let's say I want to do like a tealish color. I think it looks really cool. I really, really love this kit and it's really perfect for like car shows which is what this car is. So it's like the final perfect uh, lighting touch to this car. But yeah, I could literally just go around, go different like hues of colors. And that's what all this does. Now solid is solid. I mean, it's literally just that, but it won't blink. That's all that it is. And then strobe is, <laughs> you can increase the speed of it to where it's blinking like that, or you could bring it all the way up make it look like it's a rave. So it's pretty cool. And just to show you guys what this is, so outputs mean um, you're only gonna run two because there's only one output of the driver's side and then one output of the passenger side. So what this means is you can personally like change each color uh, one by one and then you can uh, lock it 
to where you can just save that setting. Unlocking it means you just can do one by one like personally. So I usually like to leave it on all three or two in this case and then uh, do whatever like color that I want to do at the same time for both sides. So that's Picker guys. Um, just to show you themes, there's just a whole different like hue of colors that you guys could do. Um, I usually like to choose this one for whatever reason, but it'll just go through a hue of colors. Pretty much just go through the rainbow. And then all these are pretty much, I mean it's pretty much the same, but like I said, it's just different variants and hues of color, but it'll just go through it in a cons in like a certain speed. You can also change the speed of that too. So it's pretty cool. I really like this feature guys. I really think if you guys are into car shows or trying to make your car like a show build, this is really like something you could invest in and it's really actually not that expensive from Morimoto themselves. But that's pretty much how it works guys. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it for the review. If you guys have any questions, if there's anything that I did miss out on and you guys have uh, concerns or questions, please leave it down in the comment section. I will try my best to answer them as fast as I can. Um, one more update that I do want to close on. I'm going to be done for shows for the rest of the year. I don't even think there's any shows. But uh, the reason why is I'm actually going to be going through changes to the rear of the car. So one of them being actually my diffuser is right there so I'm actually gonna be selling it to my buddy and he's gonna be rocking it on actually the same generation WX as me but uh, I'm primarily going to be running a different diffuser also by Aeroflow but uh, gonna have my exhaust part cut out so pretty much the same style of diffuser but just having the exhaust part of it the plate like cut off um, another uh, possible change I might do is maybe a different uh, exhaust uh, just one maybe run a different tip I'm not 100% I'm not 100% on that but that's just an idea that did come through my mind that I don't know if I want to change or not but I am going through performance changes here really really soon so if you guys know Mikey STI Mikey on Instagram he's a really really famous tuner for Subarus and whatnot and he's uh, located actually in Connecticut but uh, every now and then we fly him out here to Bay Area and have him tune some cars. So that's kind of what's going on right now. I'm just trying to finalize on all the performance stuff that I already bought. Not installed yet, but bought for the car and make sure that uh, everything checks out fine and just uh, pretty much end the year from that. But I will keep you guys updated on that for sure. Otherwise guys, I will catch you guys later and I will keep you guys updated as always. See ya.